Hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie's Lawson here, and it's now time for me to answer your questions. But before I do that, I want to make a special announcement that uh, in the last video that I did, besides the one I put up yesterday, Campfire Conversations, uh, the video talking about what I was asking about the Q&A, uh, the video that I was ta or or thing that I was talking about at the end, uh, where Wet Movie 1 and I are going to do a project together. Well, the project is a live interactive show that we want to do probably for the whole summer, if anything. On Blog TV, I had the chance to pick out a name of uh, what I figure would be good. I mean, Wet Movie and I went to a, a bunch of different names that we thought were good, and then I picked out one that, kind of by surprise, even he doesn't even know until he sees this video, but I told him he'd find out what it would be. After the fact that I, uh, or after I made it or whatever. But anyway, the name that I picked out is none other than the Rush Hour Renegades. And, uh, what we're going to be, and, and you're probably wondering, well, where did I get this clever title from? Uh, well, if you guys remember Full House, and you remember when, uh, Joey and Uncle Jesse were, uh, uh, got a job in radio, they got to be radio DJs for a short time. Well, that was a show that they they were that they hosted called the Rush Hour Renegade Show, and if I could, if anybody knows where they can find the actual theme song to that, or the little uh, five second liner or whatever that was, that it would be great to use that, because I know it's out there somewhere. Somebody can find it. But uh, if you want to subscribe to us, and I'm sure Wet Movie will talk about it too here in probably another video that he does, but it's a collab between him and I, as a way to interact with all of you. Now, he and I will both be in charge of the channel, and but we'll be able to maybe possibly get some guests. And also, you know, have, this will be your chance to ask any question you really want to ask while we're live on the internet. And because stick or because Blog TV has their their uh, you know co-host thing, we'll each decide to be co-host one day or, or, or switch it around or whatever. It should be a lot of fun. So if you guys uh, have a uh, Blog TV account, subscribe to us. I'll put the link down below. The Rush Hour Renegades. What I want to know from you guys is what would you like to see us do? Would you like us to have any segments? Put out any ideas in the comments below of what you'd like to see us do as a way to interact with you guys. So once again, uh, Wet Movie 1 and myself are doing a collab uh, blog TV channel called The Rush Hour Renegades. And we want to hear from you guys of what ideas that you would like us to do. How you know we should interact with you guys and whatnot? Or what type of segments? What type of you know, should we give out some prizes sometimes? I mean, what 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 do you want us to do? give us? Should we give you a shout out in our channels or something like that? Now, what do you want us to do? And put all that info down below in the comments below this video here. And uh, we don't know exactly when we're going to start, but I know it's going to be before summertime. And it's going to be before he goes on a shoot to the the the. The movie shoot that he's going to be doing here. Uh, uh, Mountain of the Flesh Eaters. So anyway, now it's time for me to answer some of your questions. Now you guys, you know, in a recent video that I made, I, I was asking about, you know, I asked you guys to, to ask me any questions that you want. And I'm going to kind of try to go in chronological order here. Uh, with the first one that was probably asked recent. And then just kind of go down below kind of. I think that's probably fair enough. Now, I will let you guys know that some of you had some really filthy questions to ask, but I am not going to be answering those questions. I just wanted to see how... I just wanted to see how filthy you guys, how some of your minds work or not, because I know there's a lot of people that really are, are kind of still on the edge because Frankie, you know, he, 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 he had us donate money to him, uh, and then he, he was supposed to use it for rent, uh, but he didn't use it for rent. He used it to pay some bills and whatnot instead, which is probably the smarter thing to do. But yet, he's such a bad guy because he, you know, he, he he's going against the law here or whatnot. Uh, just like, you know, because he, you know, he, he should pay the money back, you know. It's like, well, first of all, well, we'll get to that more a little later on. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to start asking, or answering some of your questions. I won't be able to answer all the questions in this video because... There's just too many questions to ask. And it's really nice, too, because the last time I ever had, a, uh, had decided to do a Q&A was, I think, back in, what, 2008, I believe, when I first got my 
when I first got my uh, a contract, or not contract, when I first got my uh, channel active and whatnot. And, and the cool thing about this was that I, I got active because of the fact that, hold on here. Still going? No. <laughs> Hold on here. Sorry about that. I had to calm down my two dogs and whatnot. They were barking. I don't know for what reason, but dogs bark for all types of different reasons. And I'm trying to figure out where I can adjust this. I think I'm going to try to put this right here for now. That should work. That'll stay there. That way that I can actually be hands-free and you don't have to worry about... I don't even have to worry about moving the camera around so much. All right. So, as we start this Q&A, and I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, who left questions below for me to answer. And uh, some of these questions were actually, as I was looking through some of them, they are actually pretty decent. So, uh, here we go. The first question here, can you do a video drunk? Okay, and this is from SQ. I'm not even going to say who it's from. I'm just going to... I'm just going to answer the question. A lot of people say who it's from, but some of these names I can't even pronounce, so I'm just going to ask, answer them this, like ask, answer a question then. The first question is, can you do a video drunk as fuck in the future with Rep Movie 1? <laughs> I would, but I don't drink. But maybe when we start doing these blog TV shows or not, maybe, maybe we will. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Next question here. There's a guy, too, by the name of The Collector Fan who uh, asked me a bunch of different questions, and I'm going to make a separate video answer those questions because he has, like, 40 questions that he wants me to answer. I'm going to wait to the very end to answer those questions because it's a lot of stuff, and I, actually there's stuff that I like to... Uh, answers I like to give to some of those. Okay. Let's see. So the next question that I'm going to answer is, if you could be an animal, which would you be? Oh boy, it's hard to say, I guess, because I suppose I'd probably be probably a cat, you know, because uh, either a cat or a dog, I guess, because a cat or a dog, you know, they, I don't know, they kind of, they got it pretty easy, at least, you know, animals that get treated really well get, you know, have it pretty easy. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, what would it be, or where would it be? I'd say Astoria, Oregon, because even though I've been over there, I would love to live over there because it's so it's so beautiful. It's because of the fact that it's, you know, not only because it's where the Goonies were filmed and Kindergarten Cop and all that stuff. I think it, a lot of it had to do with the fact that I, I just, I just enjoy that area because it's so beautiful. It just and, and it does. It, when I went down there back in two thousand eight, over three years ago now, uh, it felt like you were still trapped in the eighties. You know, it just felt really good. Like it was just. It's just a nice area. I'd even see more than they'd show in the movies. I mean, actually being there is, uh, you know, pretty pretty cool. If you had one wish, what would you wish for besides money? Yeah, because everybody asks for money, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I think the one thing that I would wish for that had nothing to do with money, uh, I don't know. I, I think I've always kind of, well, a non-reality dream would probably be like a, or a non-reality wish would probably be like a DeLorean, you know. Of course, then I'd have to learn how to drive stick. I don't think there's no DeLoreans that actually are not automatic or whatnot. There could be, but I, I don't think there are. Uh, a reality, a realistic wish would probably be, oh, we'll probably see my relatives that aren't around no more, you know, that passed away. A lot of my grandparents and stuff that I really was so close to uh, that you know, pass away eventually as we, as we all will do eventually in time, but, you know, it just, I don't know, I was so close to them, and they always made me feel pretty good, as I, I always try to make them feel pretty good, so I think that would be the big wish, I mean, rather than just having a big house or whatever, because everybody wishes for that stuff, and people wish for world peace, which is great, but in, in, in today's world, it's hard to say when, if that would ever actually happen, you know? So thanks for your question there. Okay. Okay. Uh, said also please state the reasons for yes. Okay. Okay. So here's the here's one of the controversial questions that I I wasn't sure if I was gonna answer, 
But I, 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 because it ain't so dirty, it ain't so filthy, I will answer it. Have you asked to borrow from your family and friends before requesting donations from strangers on YouTube? If not, why? Okay. And for those who donated to you, how have you, Frankie, expressed your gratification to them besides your general thank you video that you recently posted? Okay. So I get a controversial question from a user that just concerned about why, Frankie, did you even bother asking us for donations? Well, let me put it this way. The reason, the real reason why I asked for donations to answer everybody's question was not to spend it on stuff that I want. Okay? I'm just let me get that straight. You know, let me get that straight forward so everybody knows that I did not spend the money on foolish things. Okay? I did not spend the money on personal wealth. I spent the money on bills because I did not make enough. I was close to make enough money uh, to, to give to rent. But then I thought about it. It's like, right now, I have no job right now. And as we're in the process of appealing uh, the, my past job for hopefully to get unemployment, I got to thinking about that. And I was like, if I give the landlord this money, it's only going to be good for another month. What if I don't find another job in a month? Even though I've been looking... But all the jobs that I want to do, all the fun jobs that I want to do, nobody, you know, I, I nobody seems to want to hire because I couldn't pass those freaking uh, tests that they that they offer. You know, I've been getting a lot of slack, a lot of heat about that lately here on YouTube, and and I'm going to start blocking people, anybody else that has any bad thing to say. I can take criticism to a point, but from now on, anybody that has anything bad to say, as far as this goes, this whole situation with the donation or whatever, the people that don't understand why I did it, I'm going to start blocking people and, and uh, unfriending you guys because I'm not going to take too much slack. I like, there's a lot of good people that follow me on YouTube that understand that don't even have to make rude comments that understand why I did what I did. It was to help possibly with bills. If I were would have got enough for rent, then I, yeah, I probably would have I probably would have gave that money to it. Why did I not sell any of my DVDs or whatnot? People keep asking me. I didn't sell any of my DVDs because, first of all, a, I work too damn hard for the things that I've that I've had. Okay, I'm not the type of guy who who likes to get to see things go away because I can't afford to have them. Okay, now I realize you know that in hard times situations, sometimes you got to do stuff you don't want to do. Been there, done that. The thing is, I. If I did want to sell some DVDs, it'd only be a small few anyway, okay? It wouldn't be a big, a massive collection of, of uh, you know, everything I got, okay? I mean, I got a lot. But that has nothing to do with me being poor, okay? This is stuff that I've worked hard for. And I think the thing is, when you have money, you know, and all of us have been there, sometimes you don't always think about how you could financially be better, you know? Sometimes you don't think about how you could budget yourself. I want to get that straight because there's a lot of people that, that uh, well, and I will probably still give me slack about it, but, you know, the thing is, I'm going to start blocking people that really go beyond the, the, the point there because the thing is, I don't want any more negative feedback from anybody, but I know I'm probably going to get it anyway. So just re remember that the reason why I did it was so it would help me out so that I could, you know, so I could just be ahead on something, Okay. It wasn't because I wanted to take some people's money and use it for whatever I want to use it for. I did it because I, I, I just thought that was the only other way. You know, my family doesn't have a lot of money either. And it, and I don't like asking for them or asking for money, let alone even money just to go put gas in the vehicle. You know, I have to because I have no money right now. But with, with, with this, this was something different. This was something that was because I wanted to see, because I know I have a big fan base on YouTube. But I know I got, you know, uh, you know, I got people that, that, uh, talk about how, you know, I shouldn't have done this, or, you know, I should be ashamed by, of myself, especially now, because I, I use it for bills instead of, uh, instead of using it for the rent or whatever, and, you know what, those people, I don't know, I mean, you guys have your own opinions and whatnot, but the thing is, it doesn't change, it doesn't matter what you say, because what's done is done. The people that donated to me did it because they care. It wasn't because they, they have something bad to say about me. 
if they didn't like me, they would have donated. And there was a bunch of people that did donate. Now, the other question was, uh, for those who donated to you, how have you, Frankie, expressed your gratification to them besides your general thank you video that you recently posted? Well, the thing is, because financially I'm unable to really thank them the way that I want to. I mean, if it was up to me, I, I you know, if I had the money, I'd, I'd send them all a thank you card. I'd ask for their address and I'd send them all a thank you card. I mean, like a $5 gift certificate somewhere or whatever, you know? I'd give them some of their money back if I could do it, you know? But the thing is, uh, I, thanking somebody is probably the best, the best way that I know how. You know, a lot of, uh, some of these people that uh, donated from me told me, we don't even need to thank you. You know, just the fact that we know that we can help somebody out is the big, biggest accomplishment that we can, biggest piece of gratification that we can ask for. And so it's because these people understand what I'm going through. The ones who continue to hate on me because they just want to hate on me, Well, whatever. You do whatever you got to do. But that's pretty much my thoughts on that. Okay. So, let's see. I'm, and I'm just going to go randomly through these uh, questions here. I'm not going to ask them. You know, I was going to answer them in order. But I figured, no, I'm just going to wait here. Because I can, I can make a few videos out of this or whatever. Make a few parts or whatever. Oh, by the way, do you like that one video that I put up here yesterday? It's Campfire Conversations. My sister was totally pissed, you know, and I really, you know, what's a big brother for, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta torment, if, if I can't torment my little brother who's now six foot four and 250 pounds, then I gotta torment my sister who's only, not only, not even 20 yet, you know, and, you know, she, she loves me on camera most of the time, but she was kind of a little tipsy, we'll just say. Oop, I probably shouldn't have said that, but oh well. Okay, so here's the next one, and this one, uh, I will name this guy, because this guy's, you know... He's, he's, he's my guy, a guy who, you know, regardless of what situation that I'd ever be in, he's somebody who, you know, who, who always has my back and, and somebody who that, or who uh, has, I've always found his videos interesting and I know he's found a lot of my videos interesting. He also, when we did the Five Awesome Studs, kind of helped out a few times. And that's Super Rob 77 and his qu question was, have you ever heard of the alternative rock band Manchester Orchestra? And if not, I would suggest li listen, take it a listen. They're brilliant. The new album, Simple Math, is a piece of work. I think I have heard of that band, but I don't think I've ever heard of their stuff. I've never listened to it. But, uh, yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to do that. Well, I'm sure anything that you suggest, Rob, is, is good anyway. I don't, you're not the type of person to, to just listen to crap or buy crap or whatever. Okay, the next one here, and this one again, I can I can put this one the guy on the map here a little bit. Bookhouse Boy seventy seven. Oh boy, what can I say about you? You know, a guy who you know, and I'm not here to bash on anybody or whatnot, but see, this guy here wants me to answer some personal questions, some real sick, twisted personal questions. Uh, there's only one question on here that I actually will answer, but because Bookhouse Boy. And you know who you are, Eric from Sweden. Yes, I called you out. You know, one of Zara and Isaac's guys or whatnot on Team Z or the Z Team or whatever. Uh, and by Zara and Isaac, I mean Sean McLean, the guy who was originally part of the Five Awesome Sons who decided to turn their back on me, you know, a couple years ago or a year ago or so or a year and a half ago and totally ruined the channel that that we all work to create, blaming me, of course, because thinking that I'm the one who, who ruined the channel. And every time I try to send Sean a, a Facebook request, you know, to maybe mend the tides a little bit, to, to say sorry, and let's, let's, let's chat again like we used to, we don't need to worry about no collab channel no more, he never responds back. So, I don't know, you know. I'm, I'm even surprised, Eric, you're even watching my videos. I figure, you know, you... you don't really, you had a lot to say during that whole Five Awesome Sud fight or whatever, but now you don't have much to say, do you? You know? So I will answer one question that you, that you, uh, of the five that you suggested. And that is, will you ever get a Goonie tattoo? Well, I like the Goonies, as you know, because you know that, but I'm not really big on tattooing. It's like I'm not big on piercing either. So probably not. Okay, and uh, let's see. 
who else can I say here? Oh, lots of, lots of questions here. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Here's one. Do you ever, I'll, I'll answer this one because it's just kind of funny. Do you ever get boners at, at inappropriate times? Who doesn't? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, there's a few people that wanted to ask uh, some questions about the uh, Facebook fire or about the firing or about my job at the radio station and all that stuff. Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything right now because I'm still in the middle of the appeal and I don't want anything to, uh, anything that I say to affect that because you just never know. I want to wait and answer that question until a later date until I know everything's good and whatnot because there's a real possibility I could still be working there soon because uh, the guy who... Uh, who originally hired me told me that if I wait till wait till August that there's a chance that he'd still put me back on. He just wants things to kind of bend down a, a little bit, you know. Even though he never saw the video himself, but he he still wants things to bend down a little bit before he decides to hire me. Because I told him I said I got the talent, you know, and I got the time, and I got you know, I got like a lot of create creativity in my mind here that could help make his station great. You know, all he has to do is give me an opportunity. So, we'll see what happens. Okay. So, let's see. I think what I'll do is answer one more question for right now. And then uh, we'll go into part two here. You seem to have an inherited need to be noticed. To gain vitality through, or, yeah, vitality through the entertainment spectrum. Why is this? And most importantly, what do you truly hope to accomplish in this field? Well... The thing is, my, my goal has always been to try to be better than everybody else. To try to be the ultimate best at what I do. But because of the inspiration that I've had towards people like Cool Dude or Wet Movie and, and, and Shea Carl and Shea Tards and whatnot, the thing is, that helps me keep me aligned as far as to know how big I can possibly be one day uh, with the videos and stuff. And, and I try really, really hard to, to provide as much entertainment and fun as well as real life situations in my videos uh, to get people to make this to know that there is no script to know that this is just me the real me and to know that you know that that these are some goals that I want to accomplish uh, I've always wanted to be the best I've always wanted to be number one because I'm not the type of guy to know that my shit does stink you know I'm not the type of guy to think that my shit doesn't stink you know uh, I'm not a, a type, I mean I can be cocky here and there but but I can also be a really nice guy too, and a fun-loving person that everybody. I can be anybody's friend, you know. I can be anybody's enemy too, but I'd rather be anybody's friend, because I think that's probably the best way to look at it. Uh, so, anyway, I hope that answers your question. This is part one. I will answer more of these questions in part two, uh, here after a while, and uh, yeah, and uh, once again, subscribe to our our our, our channel, Blog TV. The Rush Hour Renegades, the channel that Wet Movie One and I are going to be doing here pretty soon uh, for live streaming. So we'll see you guys in part two, and take care, and we'll see you in the next one.